Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is another nature read, which is timeless. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful, or handsome, and you are kind. These readings will always resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone of this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. <clears throat> so yeah, another nature read. I tried to get a shot of Brian out there, but it was so bright and I couldn't figure out how to... So, you know, maybe next time. Anyhow, um, I did find the stones that, you know, we went walking around and I found these cool, really, they're like white, pinky, trippy stones you know about the same but i i thought they were neat so i grabbed them i try i'm trying not to to collect things you know because it's just too much too much stuff you know anyhow <clears throat> let's see what's going on uh this time around this is the the witch's tarot it's a cool deck you know whatever i'm just gonna find out what's going on out there with y'all Oh, and I, I, I grabbed the bicycle uh, frosted deck because it's freaking cold. <laughs> it is. It's cold. It's like 35 degrees. Uh, we're in uh, Mexico, New Mexico. So, anyhow. Let's see what comes out. Just gonna see what's going on out there, right? Right, we have the sun. All right. It's about illumination, right? And the eight of pentacles. So somebody, <clears throat> somebody may hear may have been illuminated that I got to work on myself, right? Screw the rest of these people. I've been doing this, that, and the other for this person and that person. It's time for me, right? That's what I feel <laughs> right there, you know, for someone. I went through that at one time in my life. Somebody could be going through that right now. Like maybe, you know, you've been helping others, doing what you can to, you know, try to bring the peace or just do whatever, right? To, to make others happy. And, you know, you might have just said, you know what? I'm going to start doing me, right? Yeah. And if you did do that, if you are doing that and you are resonating right on, that's something good to resonate with, right? I think so. What else we got here? Anything else? Okay. All right. So uh, this one is the Two of Swords. All right. So work will you you will be working on yourself that's what the eight of pentacles is right the eight of pentacles is about working on your craft working on yourself right um I, I, in the past i've heard readers saying oh they want to work it out no there is no they in this card right this is one person working on themselves working on their own craft right it's showing you right here even in the picture but you know i don't know people say people say the darndest things right but somebody has realized that I'm going to work on myself. And this is the choice that they're willing to make. With We got five of wands here. There might be others that are like, no. This looks like somebody having to fight off somebody or people, right? Look at that. It's like they're going after that one dragon in the sky. Get him. Why? Because that person wants to work on themselves. Because that person has decided to put all the efforts that they used to put in all kinds of other people in themselves now. Right? That's for someone. Right? That's a story. But we can go ahead and clarify and find out a little bit more. Right? That's why I got these this time. Right? I don't have any uh, oracles. Well, I mean, I do. I can see some from here, but we'll see how this works out, okay? All right. <clears throat> the Frosted Deck. Tell us about this illumination, about this sun card, right? Who was illuminated here? What happened? What happened with that sun card? Tell us a story. 
tells a story about that sun car. Let's see. All right, so somebody was illuminated. There's a third party situation or a celebration here, right? Um, I'm not quite sure uh, if that's third party though. That could be somebody deciding to celebrate because they've realized something, right? An offer. Somebody may have made another person an offer in regards to um, whatever they've been illuminated to. Let's see. Anything else? <clears throat> somebody made somebody an offer of love and stability. Or somebody has realized that. Right? Somebody is celebrating and illuminating because the sun, that's like happiness, right? Happiest card in the deck. Now you could be illuminated to something or something could have made somebody happy. Somebody made somebody happy, right? These are like really good cards. The Eight of Wands, that's about coming in swiftly to make some sort of offer of stability. Yes. And then the Two of Cups, that's I love you. Let's do this together. And here's that four of cups making that offer. And since we have the three of cups right there, that's celebration. That's happiness. That's joy. Success. Right? Yeah. Hell yeah. That's what that is. <laughs> right on. You know? Cool. So we have that going on, right? Let's go ahead and see what this, uh, so, so once this all has been offered and everybody's so happy and joyous and wonderful, you know, why is this eight of pentacles here now? Wow. I'm also getting that eight of pentacles is there because they were in this position of happiness, right? And this may have given this person the opportunity to work on themselves, right? Because maybe before they didn't have that opportunity. It was too hard under the circumstances. Doing this, that, and the other. Don't have time. But now somebody may have time. So let's see what else is going on here. Why is that Eight of Pentacles right there? This is for the Eight of Pentacles. This is for the Eight of Pentacles. All right, so the first one is the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so somebody may start working on themselves because they just lost their passions, right? Somebody was, you know, used to be very passionate about something, but not, a, not so much anymore, right? Two of Wands, wanting to have that conversation, right? This is about wanting to have a heated debate or a conversation about this loss of passion, Hmm. Ten of Pentacles, right? Now, losing the passion for money is kind of strange. Well, not really. Not really. Because there's some people out there who are just focused on money, 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 money. They're so money hungry that they don't even get the opportunity to live. Right? Right? so focused on getting that bag money 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 which is a lot of people out there you know haven't watched tarot in a long time it's been like what it's quite a bit of time i don't even know how many days but it's more than 10 more than 15 i think you know anyways but once in a while, I'll scroll through and one, I'll see a reading will pop up in there because I have looked in the past, it's going to show up in the feed sometimes. And what did I see right away was, you know, uh, one question, $10, two question, $25 right away. Money, 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 money. Mm -hmm. That's seeing that just deters me from even watching. So thank goodness those show up in the feed because then I'm like, what? Because that's all it, it seems like, you know? Not that this has to do with that. 
but you know somebody is losing that passion to always you know be like money hungry like they were you know like maybe they used to think oh money's everything i needed to you know and now they're like you know what money's not everything and money can't buy you love that's another thing you know but it looked happy over here didn't it So somebody may have offered love, but the passion has basically died away, you know, and somebody wants to tell somebody about that. Uh, but there's a lot of money involved. The Ten of Pentacles is also, uh, it doubles as the Wheel of Fortune. So this is some kind of somebody's karma for doing something, right? But their passion, it's... It's gone. Maybe they have the money. Maybe they have the house and everything. But they're just like they hate their life type of energy, right? Money's not everything. You know, well, yeah, we need it. <laughs> we need it. You know, some of it. But somebody here treats it like, I don't know. Like, they feel like a, some sort of status with it, right? But who cares? <clears throat> Tell us about this Two of Swords. What is somebody deciding here, right? I know that there's going to be some truth coming out, though. I already saw the Ace of uh, Swords, right? Okay, we have a King of Wands, right? This is a passionate person. This also doubles as the Magician. Yes, sir, it sure does. So somebody here trying to manifest something back from the past. Five of Pentacles, this is law. So they're trying to manifest something from the past that they lost. Whoever here is trying to make a choice, somebody here is trying to make a choice or a decision uh, to try to manifest. Oh, there it is. You see how that shit <laughs> right off my right off my wrist. It's like, blink, you know, but there it is. They're trying to manifest back uh, a situation that they were in with somebody who was single and abundant and who could take care of themselves. Right. This is also doubles as the hermit card. Right. Now, if they're not dealing with another person and they're deciding to work on themselves, the choice that they're going to make is to manifest um, losing out on the time of being in hermit mode, right? That's if you're not dealing with anybody. Somebody's trying to manifest that time back. Maybe they missed out on the, the opportunity to go into hermit mode because they had too much going on. Maybe somebody's trying to manifest some time. That could be it. But in, you know, reality, uh, it more looks like to me uh, that somebody is trying to manifest a person that they lost who is actually, you know, can take care of themselves, single and abundant. They don't need them. You know what I mean? But I wouldn't know why this person is trying to do that if they're happy here. That's what gets me. Right? Why would you try to change this? Right? But somebody is making it, is trying to make a choice to manifest someone back. So when we saw that three of cups right there, and I'm like, oh, celebration because they're happy. No. Mm -mm. That's three of cups, third party situation. Just, uh, just wanted to add that in there, okay? So now, somebody's trying to work on themselves, right? Fix themselves, you know, come up with some, you know, more loving details about themselves, right? loving themselves more. Somebody here is. And somebody is trying to manifest somebody from the past, somebody who's single. They're not single, though. This is the problem. Wah, wah, wah. You know what I'm saying? Tell me about that five of wands. Somebody here, uh, people may also know this person is planning on doing that or is thinking about 
coming forward, but they're married or they're shacked up or they're just bound to something that's preventing them from happiness, right? We didn't see the Hierophant card, but we did see the uh, creating stability. We saw somebody expressing their love, right? We saw that shit. So why, you know? Okay. Somebody here is a queen of wands and swords energy, right? Queen of swords energy. That's a very intelligent lady. You don't want to mess with her, though, because you could piss her off and she will cut you out of her life, you know? So you, there's somebody here that's not getting along well with this queen of swords, right? It could be several people. Look at that. This Queen of Swords is in the energy of the Wheel of Fortune. Upright. Ten of Pentacles. Abundance. Right? This person is uh, doing a lot. You know, maybe this person works a lot. This is why Ten of Pentacles energy. This person works a lot or, you know, whatever. Then that could be with anything. Right? Because this abundance could stand for um, being abundant in, uh, like, nature. Uh, abundant in... Me, I feel like I'm abundant. You know what I'm saying? Because I have all this nature free to me to enjoy my freedom, right? She could be abundant in freedom. She could be multitasking. Maybe she has several jobs. Maybe she's doing a lot, right? But this person is always looking forward, no matter what. She's always moving forward, right? Even if she's not doing so well, she still moves forward, right? And her karma is good. She has a lot on her plate. She's working, right? There might be a lot of people uh, in competition with her, or trying to fight with her, or keep her in some sort of energy but you know she's it doesn't look like that's really going to happen for her okay <clears throat> i just happened to look at the six of cups right there um in my hand so there could also be a lot of people trying to fight for this person's uh affections or love right that's nice <laughs> i don't know you know shoot <sighs> depending on who's who you know because so far we have we have three energies, right? Three people. And you can be one of them. We have this person who's very, you know, successful and happy, who offered somebody uh, their love and stability, right? We also have this person who's just working on themselves, working on their craft, continuous, you know, work, 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 uh, trying to improve themselves, things like that. We also, uh, we, oh, we have an, we have four people. I don't know. You know, I mean, um, we have these two people and then we have a king of wands, the magician energy, right? I'm trying to manifest somebody back. And we have that queen of swords energy, that smart lady who is abundant, who is, you know, you know, so you can be one of those people. I don't know. Or maybe you're just here because you like my storytelling. Okay, let's keep going. <clears throat> What do we got going on here next? What's next in the story? Knight of Swords. Darn. Remember earlier I said I think some truth's coming out? That ain't no truth. <laughs> or did I say that? Well, the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So there's somebody who's not telling the truth. These two people? They're not being honest with each other. Somebody's not being honest with another person. Right? Somebody is not saying what they want to say, I think, is what it is. Ooh, got two cards. This one is the Three of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? The one who's working on themselves is going to possibly choose not to work with another, whoever that is. Oh, there's the Ace of Swords. It's in the reverse because somebody's not honest. That's why. This is why. So somebody's, the reason why these two people can't come together or two of these people or whoever is here that is trying to get together, the reason why it's not happening is because lies, 
liar, 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 liar. That's it. You, there's a lot of lies going around here. A lot of bullshit. And people like, oh, really? Is that what you heard? Okay, I'm going to believe you then. You know, instead, just fucking ask the person, right? If there's somebody sucking shit, why are you going to go and follow what everybody else says? That shows your intelligence, really. <laughs> you know? If you can't go find out for yourself, that shows your intelligence level, right? If you don't want to ask for yourself, then fine. You're going you're to be looking stupid in the end, right? That's my advice for this part. Hearing stuff from other people and you just running with what you said, you're an idiot. Sorry, my bad. But it's, 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 it's the truth. Now, if you're not that kind of person, you shouldn't, this will not offend you. It will not bother you. Because maybe you don't do that. Oh, I don't look for opinions from other people. So then this doesn't apply to you, which is good. <laughs> right? Right on, yo. But if you're one of those people that came here and you're like, oh, well, I got to ask my mom's opinion and my dad's opinion. There you have it. I don't care who that is. That's just an opinion. Don't run with whatever they say. Go seek the truth. Prove whatever they're saying first. You know, I, I met this I met this family. And the the kid was a little overweight. And he said, I can't eat sugar because um I'm going to be diabetic or, you know, whatever. And I'm like, who told you that? He said, my mom. And I said, w did the doctor tell you? No, just my mom, she told me. You know, he was a little overweight, but it wasn't like you're diabetic. It's more like get out there and start playing more. I had to take care of these kids, you know, and that's what the, what I heard from the kid. Just going off shit their parents say. And they don't, there's no even, you know? And there was nothing wrong with the kid except he needed to go to the park and play. That's what he needed. That's a whole nother story, man. About some shit I've been through, but it's okay. We're going to keep moving. <laughs> right? You don't need that story. I'll tell you what, it's a hell of a story. So anyways, we got what's going on here. We got people lying and people running with that information like it's true. And maybe even spreading more gossip having to do with it. And you know what? Like, you know what sucks too? Is when these people are done telling all their lies and shit, somebody's going to find out the truth. And then all these people are going to be like, you guys are liars. Right? You're gonna, they're going to look stupid. Because, you know, you can only hide the lies for so long until all kinds of bullshit, you know? Damn. Let's keep going here. Ooh, look, four cards came out. Should I take them or should I put them back? Ah. Page of Wands. So somebody could be lying about wanting to leave somewhere and try something new. Trying to start. Somebody's going to lie to somebody or, or about something because they want to go on a, on a separate adventure, a new adventure, right? And they want to start something new with someone. But guess what? Yeah, I, and I already know it. This person right here is going to bring the tower to whoever it is here that is trying to um, disrupt their working on themselves, right? Because someone's going to lie about not wanting to work with them, this, that, and the other. And this person is going to decide to say, well, then, see ya, right? Wouldn't want to be ya. Because somebody here is also going to realize the lies. It's like, this is the story. Here's all the lies. And here's the realization. So, also, there might have been some lie in regards to um, stability. And I love you. And we're going to be rich. and all. Somebody may have lied about all that stuff. Let's see what this is. The star. All right. Somebody could be dealing with an Aquarius. It's card of Aquarius. Okay. Tower Scorpio, right? Um, we have Leo. 
anyhow right so we have these cards here and somebody could be you know lying about wanting to heal something hold on hold on hold on hold on I forgot to clarify the second row because I was so intrigued by the story. But you know what? I want to clarify real quick the Knight of Swords. Just whatever comes out. Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. Nine of Wands in the reverse. That somebody doesn't want to work it out, but they do. Somebody wants to work something out with somebody. Three of Pentacles. But like I said, they're lying. They're going to say they want to work things out, that they want to uh, collaborate, but they're lying. Somebody here is lying. I told you. Ace of Swords in the reverse. Oof. One. And two, what are they lying about? That they're juggling and they feel trapped. They can't move from wherever they are. So somebody here is in a relationship and they're going to act like they're all single and they, that, but they're lying they don't, they can't, they just can't because somebody here is shacked up with someone already. Uh-huh. We got a liar here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They don't want to fight on, on with this with you. They're lying. So, you know, hopefully you're not coming here in hopes to of somebody coming back and you've been waiting. Please don't wait for anybody, you guys. Don't wait for no one. You are missing great opportunities, most likely. Okay? Don't let this person hold you back from happiness. That's what something, something kind of looks like that right here. Tell me that. All right, I'm just saying. Like, by you waiting and, oh, but they're my soulmate. So, don't, oh my gosh. But it's my baby daddy. Oh. Well, did he ghost you and leave you and the child? Are you just hoping for them to come back? I mean, oh no, man. Some crazy ass stuff out there. Anyways, we have the page of wands here, right? Somebody doesn't want to do... Somebody wants to come back. They're going to approach this person who's working on themselves, right? They're going to come back all happy and vibrant, whatever. But whatever they're going to come back and tell you, they're going to be lying about it. And you're going to have to make a choice over these lies. And they're lying because others are telling them that you have to do this or we're going to be have problems with us, right? Somebody is making some threats. We have the page of one here. Somebody is saying, hey, I want to start something brand new, new business, whatever. But it looks like you're not, whoever this person working on themselves, they're, they're not going to fall for it. They're not. They already know, or most likely. And, you know, somebody here may want to heal, right? But they're lying about that. That's what sucks. They're lying about that. And whoever's going to bring the tower in by saying, you know, no thanks. I don't want to go on an adventure with you or start anything new with you. I'm just going to keep healing myself. That could also be uh, what's going on too, okay? Let me do a couple quickie uh, clarifications. Oh no. Page one. Yeah. We've got the ace of wands in the upright this person just wants to come in and holla that's all they want to do they want to holla and give you the wand they don't they just want to have sex they don't want to like do anything substantial with you yeah look they're gonna say they want to heal this is also the star card the seven of pentacles right they're gonna say they want to heal and all this but remember they're a knight of swords in reverse they're lying to you okay they're gonna be telling you whatever they can to get you in the sack Tell us about the tower, though. What are you going to say to him about that? <laughs> oh, so we have the four of wands in the reverse. You're going to be like, oh, my God, what is going on now? You know, s somebody here is trying to resurrect this, but somebody's going to stop it. Let me get one more card for that tower. <laughs> somebody going to try to stop that. One more card for the tower. Yep, because look, we got ten of swords right here. 
Somebody is trying to resurrect something, but somebody's going to bring in the tower. Why? Because this person may have backstabbed you before. You know this. Mm -hmm. You know this already. It's, you don't even have to come here to ask me. You know who backstabbed you. That person who backstabbed you, that person going to try to come back because they want to have sex with you. Male or female energy, you choose. Vice versa, whatever. Male, male, female, female. Female, male, whatever, right? You know that person's going to try to come back and resurrect something with you. But they backstabbed you. You know that this is a backstabber. And that's why the tower's coming in. Tell us about uh, the star card. They're, they're not going to walk away from whatever it is that they're trying to do. They're not. Whatever is going on up here with them, they're not walking away from it. They're just leaving momentarily to have sex with you, tell you, oh, let's start brand new, let's resurrect. But they're lying. Ten of swords, backstabbing energy. They are not leaving the place where they came from. They're still going to say they want to heal it with you and this, that, but they're lying. We get one more for that star card. Oh, we got two more. Who is it? It's a king of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Going to come tell you that bullshit. They got that shit in their chart somewhere. We have the nine of wands. They're going to, they want to fight for this one last time. But what, we're, what, what is the theme of this? They're liars. <laughs> They're liars. Liar. Mm -hmm. Liar, liar, pants of fire. So isn't that interesting, right? <laughs> and I just saw the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. You saw the Queen of Swords in here, right? So, you know. Now, we could be talking about two people, right? One of these could be the Queen of Swords, and one of these could be the King of uh, uh, Cups. Right? Was that the King of Cups? No. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. King of Cups. We also have the King of... Uh, that, well, that was a magician. I take that as a magician. So, yeah. Anyways, let's grab some more. I want to get a couple more cards and see what's going on here. Let me get one, two, three. Woo! Okay, they're in the upright. I noticed that. And that one's in the reverse. <clears throat> Okay, one, two, three. So yeah, this person is married. He, we have someone here who is married who, who sleeps around on his wife behind the back. Maybe the wife does it too. I don't know. Um, we have the eight of swords. This person is trapped. He's married. He's stuck. Cannot get out of that. Right? Anything this person come and tell you, they're lying. They're not going to get divorced. They're not going to get separate. Whatever you want to call it. No, they're not. They're going to stay with whoever they're with right now. Regardless of whether they're happy or not. Why? Because whoever they're with right now allows them to cheat. Mm-hmm. So you might as well go on with your life. I'm serious. I'm serious. Y'all need, somebody here needs healing. Don't be waiting for no fool to come back. That fool is not going to leave where they're at. Just leave that person and move on with your life. Heal yourself. Heal yourself. Nine of wands. It doesn't look like you want to. Somebody here doesn't want to work things out with another person. I know that. Because look, the tower, remember? Somebody's going to bring in the tower and say, no, thank you very much. I don't want to do this with you. You know? No, I'm not going to fight for this relationship anymore. That's how it's going to be right? Because this person is lying about, I want a new start with you because they're trapped in a marriage already. Look, 10 of pentacles. That's their karma. It's in the upright. This is also about longevity. They're married already, but this fool, you know, they cheat. There's a lot of families like that. And the wife has no self-worth. She stays with this kind of person, takes care of the kids, the kids grow up seeing parents cheating, so they feel like that's the life they got to live, cheating all the time. Terrible, terrible. You know, don't be involved even in this. Go off your own way and build some happiness with yourself. That's my advice here. 
don't wait for this fool hoping that they're going to separate one day because they're so unhappy. No, please don't. Please don't. Shoot. Let's clarify. I'm going to get an oracle too. What do I have here? Let me soul's journey. Soul lesson journey cards. Yes. Let me set those right there. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be using those, okay? Because somebody needs a, some sort of lesson. Uh, let's tell tell me about this ten of pentacles right here. Oh no, this ten of pentacles right here. Anything else? Ten of pentacles. Ten of pentacles. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. This person does not want to collaborate with anyone. They're not, look, ten of pen, Three of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, let's start brand new, but they already have something. They don't want to collaborate with you. You see that shit? It's just a messenger. They're going to come and they're going to be all, oh, I love you. I miss you and all that shit. And what do they want? They want to fuck. <laughs> so yeah, don't, dude, don't, don't do it. <laughs> I'm serious. Don't do it. All right. They don't want nothing with you. They just want that one thing. Okay. Why is this eight of swords here? You better watch out. Because, you know, they just want that thing. That thing. You know what I'm saying? Why is the eight of swords here? Bam. Look at that shit. Three-party situation told you that person dude leave that person alone oh but they're unhappy in that relationship i know they're gonna come back to me oh my god you need healing girl whoever's thinking that out there but it's my twin flame oh my god you need healing girl you need to figure out your self-worth trust me i've been in that shit too i learned my self-worth i don't need that shit hell no i don't care twin flame who cares that fool didn't see my my worth in the beginning I'm done. That's it. It's easy to move on, you guys. You just gotta stop tripping on, you know, soulmates and twins. It's so stupid. <clears throat> it's over. This is a death card in the upright. You want to stay third party for the rest of your life, hoping and praying that some fool going to come back, break up with... No, he's not going to. That's where the money's at. Anyways. It's over with that person that's what they chose they didn't choose you whoever's out there hoping and praying that somebody's gonna return they didn't choose you leave them i've been through that too all right i've been through that too i felt that shitty feeling too listen they didn't choose you they didn't choose me neither and they're not choosing you either just let it go, man. Find your happiness, whoever you are. Come on, man. Yeah. Be that single, happy, and abundant right now. Right? Hell yeah. Because this person is not. They've only trapped. Right? It's over for them and you and third party. Because why? I think because you figure out your worth. That's why. That's why I'm, I'm thinking. Once we get down to here. Yeah, you figure out your worth. You know, you, you're going to be like, I don't give a shit how much money they have. They married, they better stay over there with their wife and their husband, right? I feel like you are in that good energy now. Like you are in that realization or you will be anyways, right? I hope so. Because that's a great feeling. Once you realize your worth and you're just like, fuck that fool. I don't need that piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? I'll try to lead you on and fuck them. You know, you don't need that. Tell us about this nine of wands in our verse. One flew, two flew, three flew. Gosh, damn. One, two, three. Three of pentacles. That somebody wants to collaborate. You gonna say no. Because why? We get the five of cups because you're over them. Yeah, you already are over this person, right? I don't know why this is lingering in your energy. Maybe because that person thinking too much, whatever. But by the time we get here, you're over them. You already, 
You don't feel that loss no more. Yeah, because what you walked away. Good. <laughs> Good. You know, I mean, I don't have no advice from here because the story pretty much play out right here. But good. It show it shows me that you're like, fuck no, I'm not work. I'm not going to collaborate with you. Maybe I'm going to collaborate with others. Uh, I don't feel the loss of me and you any longer. And I'm walking away from you now. There you go. Yeah. And you know what? Whoever is working on themselves, walking away from this person who's married, trying to get some fucking whatever dick or pussy on the side, you you already going to say no. You And, and you, you're not going to want to collaborate with that person. And you're going to throw the smack down with that tower and say, no, thank you very much. I'll collaborate with others. I don't feel no loss with you no more. I'm over you and I've walked away. Yeah. All right. Good. <laughs> Right? I think that's good, right? Look what it's at the bottom of the deck. They're trying to keep you in a third party situation. Don't do it. I don't think you will. I don't think you will. I think you're I think you're gonna be keen to whatever's happening. But let's, you know. At first I thought we needed the soul's journey, but I kind of feel like in the end, whoever is walking away from this fool who who has to throw the tower down, the tower smack down, <laughs> uh, I think you're gonna you're gonna be alright. You know, shit. The other people that's their problem, you know, trying to be like that with you. You know what I'm saying? Shoot. Trying to think that you're going to stay undecided. And that, no, I don't think so. Let's see what comes out. Let me get three cards. One for um, Dafu. One for the person working on themselves. And one for the person that they're married for with one for that fool <laughs> i'm just kind of, <laughs> you're one of those people so we got fool we got regret what else? one for the wife of whoever the one with no you know self-worth i guess i don't want to say it like that because this person may have broken this person down too i don't know yeah, our relationships. Uh-oh. Oh. All right, all right. <clears throat> Something is different here. Let's see. Look, freedom. This is for the God, the fool. That's what he wants. He wants freedom. I possess the powers and the free will to create my own happiness. You sure do. So somebody here is not happy. But you know what? Y you possess the power and the free will to create your own happiness. You are not choosing to be free. That's your problem. Hey, I'm just saying this is for the fool, right? Or for this guy who's was offered all kinds of stuff to be happy and now you're not happy, right? <laughs> now, this is for the one who's working on themselves who, who is basically going to bring the smack down and say, I don't want you no more to that fool, right? Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. So, yes, maybe you do regret this because a lot of time was wasted. A lot of your time, right? Fuck that. Don't waste any more of your precious time. You can't get a refund on time. You can't. And this person may have wasted a lot of your time. Mm-hmm. We all have regrets, though. Don't trip. We all have them. I have regrets. We all have them. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> And for this one who married this guy, relationships, I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So, somebody may have trapped uh, this fool. You may have trapped this fool in a relationship because you thought that they would benefit you in some way, form, or fashion. And maybe they did. Maybe they bring in the, the dough. So, somebody here is not happy because somebody is with somebody for the money. Yeah. And they feel trapped. And, and, you know, a lot of the time, too, like I noticed also, like in the Midwest, um, just from talking uh, to some other people that I spoke to a guy and he was telling me he would like to get a divorce, but he can't because if he does, like the wife will get everything, you know, in some states they do it like that. Even though that guy worked the whole business from the ground up, the house, everything, all the money. And all she did was like sit at home with the kid and he built a, a fortune there and it would all go to the wife, you know, and 
That's why you gotta, I don't know, is it prenatal? There's gotta be some stipulation for that kind of thing in regards to when you get married, you know? And, and sign those papers, you know what I'm saying? Because male or female, it don't matter. Because if you ain't gonna ever separate, sign the paper, right? What, why are you not gonna, why you wanna hold that, you know? Just sign the paper. But a lot of people won't. And they'll be like, oh, you don't love me? No, I just fucking sign the paper. If we're going to be here, be together forever, might as well sign it. You ain't got nothing to worry about, right? Right. <laughs> Anyhow. So uh, that's what I have for you guys. Uh, if it resonated, uh, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, keep a true love energy, you guys. Happy, friendly, loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful. Why? Because we love ourselves. Right? Yeah. That's how it's going to be with you. If you come here all sad and tripping out on somebody else, trust me, the time is going to come. We're going to see through that person's lies. And you're going to be like, no thanks. I'm going to throw the smack down, the tower down. And you're going to be like, I'm, I'm good. And it's going to be funny because maybe you're going to even tell them like that. Like, no thanks. I'm good. Yeah, have a nice life. You know, you might even be that kind <laughs> about it. You know, no, nothing wrong with that. All right, you guys, I'm Mona. This is Class Group Dreams Tarot, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.